So the water element is about saying right or wrong, yes or no. It's, it's a duality. It's a plane, the plane of duality. But we transcend that when we go to wisdom. Wisdom says, okay, so we're actually we're talking about the hero's journey is another perspective on what we're talking about here because we go from that seventh chakra, we ground it back to the beginning, the first chakra, where we take that divine connection, we come out of the cave, we go back to the world, and we ground whatever wisdom we've, we've gained by expressing it in the world and sharing it with others. That completes the cycle. And that's a whole journey of, in itself from there back through in reverse sequence, back through the chakras and the meridians and the, and the, uh, <coughs> the, the elements, etc. So, and, and again, none of this is, when we get to that level of wisdom, none of it's exclusive. There's, 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 no, uh, there's no law in nature that says you can't, you know, you can't repeat that step. We, we do all the time. We, we, we fall back and we get up again. We make the same mistake that we made a long time ago and we say, oh, I thought I already did that, right? And so the sequence for each one of us is completely unique and that's why the healing and the medicine has to be individualized. The map fits us all, like the hero's journey fits every story, but every story is unique. If every story looked at the hero's journey and say, well, I have to do exactly that and exactly this way, only the names would change and we'd be bored after the third story and say, oh, I've heard stories before, I know stories. And you know, when we watch movies made by most filmmakers who went to most film schools, we are, we say, okay, this is formula. Oh yeah, formula works, okay, yeah, good, okay, we're, what's it about? Oh, we're making money, okay. But it's boring and it doesn't change us. It doesn't reach the heart, it doesn't reach to the heavens. It's not a prayer. It's not an effective prayer. If we want to make real change, we have to touch that, that stone that, that no one else found. You know, we have to reach the, you know, the, a, a different goal, a higher goal. We have to get there a new way, uh, tell a new story. It has to be fresh. So it's going to vary from the map. The map, you know, even if you have the, the treasure map, now you're in the real terrain, you're looking at the map and say, okay, here's the dotted line and there's the X. And I see a mountain, oh, there's a mountain, okay. But, but it doesn't show all the trees, it doesn't show that whole, that pitfall there, it doesn't show that barrier, it doesn't show this new challenge. Oh, this animal doesn't show up on the map, wow, what do I do now? There's always something new and fresh in the reality of, of the hero's journey, the healing process. Healing is, is a process of reversing time. It's time travel. We travel back to situations that we faced in the past with the resources we had then along our journey, but now we have new resources. We've learned, we've grown, we've healed, and we're bringing the, our fresh resources of body, mind, and spirit to that old challenge, and now we're able to unlock the gate that we couldn't before. Now we can, now there's a whole new pathway available to us. We might have to take many steps back from where we were facing some challenge to open that old gate, and now, you know, now we go through the tunnel under the mountain, like in Lord of the Rings, instead of having to go over the mountain. So, so there's the completion of, of the whole, this whole developmental process. Once we get to grounding the divine connection, we create that divine connection. It's like the pineal eye that, that faces upward in most people, but in, in many people it faces downward on autopsy. It's one or the other. It's, that's like the, 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 the water element choice, are we going to orient to the light or are we going to hide from the light? And so the pineal and the human, unlike any other creature that we know of, it's in the center of the head so it doesn't orient to the physical light that we see with these eyes like it does in other creatures. It's orienting, the evidence that we draw together in the clinical theory is that it's orienting to the spiritual light that is coming from the center of the galaxy. Pretty interesting. And it relates to non-local communication that's well documented, beyond, you know, beyond uh, probability. Uh, it's a super, super high probability that, that there is this inter-rater communication in, in psychophysics studies uh, that where there's no normal sensory connection or technical connection between those people. We're connected to each other. Same in healing studies. 
If we give you a photograph of a person, you don't know where they are or what they're suffering from, and you pray for them using that photograph, they heal faster. It's been proven many times, many different studies. We're non-locally connected. It's a divine universe. We, we are cells in a divine body. We're in one body, and if we can understand the physiology of that body, now we can work together and be a healthy body together. We can be in heaven on earth, and that's the ultimate goal. The reason for healing your body is not merely to reduce suffering. That's certainly a, a, a positive spiritual goal, and it's, it's, it's a good thing. But there's a higher good. A higher good is when you heal your body, your spirit becomes freed to have more choice to live life. And we're here to learn and grow and develop our spirit body, which is a spaceship with an outer hull of the that non-local interaction of the metal element. That metal is gold, gold, spiritual gold, not metallic gold, but the M state, superconductive, superfluid gold of real spaceships. You are developing your real spaceship in this life. And it's made of real gold that's much more valuable than metallic gold. And you can take, you can take that in. We can use that as a, a medicine. But the question is, are you prepared to build it into your spaceship? Well, you need certain conditions. Starting from the body level, it has to be alkaline or you can't incorporate it. It's just going to flush out. It's not going to be able to structure. In an acid state, we, de we, we reduce structure. We break structure. In an alkaline state, we build structure. It was called catabolic and anabolic. And there's a cycle to that. There's times when you're in a catabolic phase and it's not time to build your spaceship. It's time that you're trying to break down the problem areas so that you can repair and rebuild them properly without the materials that, that don't belong there in the way. So that's where the biocommunication comes in and we can read exactly what's happening in your body right now because your spirit is the intelligence here. It's not, not the doctor that's the intelligent one, it's your body. The intelligent doctor is wise enough to listen to your body and to hear the signals that you have not developed the sensitivity and awareness to, to tune into yet but you will, and that's part of the healing process. Again, developing the spirit, developing your sensitivity, developing your ability to regulate, to, to have homeodynamic regulation within your own body, mind, and spirit, and integration and simultaneous function of all those levels. You know, from, and building from the heart energy by taking in the non-local and making it your own, and building from there in these spheres of function of the the, the earth and water element sphere, the wood element sphere, and completing the metal element sphere, and then it, integrating and utilizing those as we integrate and support and serve those around us to build a bigger ship together. <laughs>